Tonyasis. Participation of cats and chickens in the dispersion and maintenance of the disease in an endemic tourist area in Brazil. Tonyasis is a parasitic skin disease caused by Tunga SPP. Fleas, commonly found in impoverished tropical regions. This study investigates the participation of cats and chickens in the dispersion and maintenance of tonguesis in Vila Urana, a tourist community in Ilhias, Bahia, Brazil, where this disease is endemic. While it is well established that dogs are the primary host of these fleas during their life cycle in this area, there has been limited information about the role of cats and chickens in this context. In our survey of 272 households in Vila Urana, it was observed that 112 had domestic animals, with 48 having only dogs, 28 having only cats, and 9 having only chickens. Additionally, 27 households housed a combination of these species, with 16 having cats and dogs, 8 having chickens and dogs, and 3 having all three species cohabiting. The severity of tonguesis lesions in animals was assessed using the Fortaleza classification, considering stages I, II, and III as viable lesions. We specifically focused on inspecting the paws, feet of 111 cats and 439 chickens in the study. Dogs that shared their living spaces with cats and chickens were also included in the assessment. The findings revealed that among the 38% of positive cats, 7 27ths, 95% confidence interval 26.7449.32, all cohabited with infected dogs, but none lived with positive chickens. Interestingly, only 2.3% of chickens, 4 thirds, 95% confidence interval 0.074.5, had lesions caused by tonguesis. In households where cats were infected, dogs were also found to be positive for the disease. Among the chickens, two cohabited with infected dogs, while the other two did not share their living spaces with other animal species. This study concludes that cohabitation with infected dogs, coupled with the absence of house confinement restrictions in Vila Urana, makes cats important carriers that contribute to the spread of tonguesis in this community. On the other hand, chickens displayed a relatively low frequency of tonguesis lesions, even when living in proximity to infected dogs and cats. This information is valuable for understanding the dynamics of tonguesis transmission in the region and developing strategies for disease control and prevention. Further research is needed to explore the specific factors that influence the differences in susceptibility to tonguesis among these animal species in the endemic tourist area of Vila Urana, Brazil. Please remember to subscribe to our channel, click the like button, and activate the notification bell if you wish to see more content like this. Thanks for watching.